Garmin Guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Garmin Basecamp. There are two methods to do this, and I'll show you the recommended method first. So to do that, we go to garmin.com forward slash express and download Garmin Express. So from here, we can click to restart the download if it doesn't start automatically, then click save and run. Just going to minimize the browser so we can see that more clearly. So I'm going to agree to the terms and conditions and install Garmin Express. Garmin Express is a tool for updating the software and maps on your device. And we're going to use it to install Basecamp and the maps to our computer in this instance. So Garmin Express is successfully installed. I'm going to click to launch. And the first thing we have to do is add a device. So at this point in time, plug your device into the computer. I'm using a Garmin Zumo 590LM. And then go through the process of registration, if you like, adding or changing your nickname and agreeing uh, to anonymous data collection, should you wish. So initially, this will check for updates. Now, a crucial step we've got to do now is click on Map Options. Now, you can see on the bottom, we've got the option to install map to computer. Now, this process will install the map from the device to the computer and also install Basecamp. So then when you're using Basecamp, you won't have to have your device connected in order to see the detailed map. So I'm going to click here, install to computer. We've got a set of terms and conditions to accept, so I'll accept those. And we've got some notices about this update. So this is where it explains that you're installing the map to the computer and therefore you can use it uh, standalone without having the device connected. So I click to continue. Now this download can take a long time because the maps are very large. So I've sped this up considerably. So now the map is up, uh, installed to the computer along with Basecamp. So the next thing I'm going to do is fire up Basecamp. So I'll disconnect my device just to show you that the map is on the computer when I fire up Basecamp. See at the top of the screen the Zumo is now disconnected. So I click on my start button and navigate to uh, where we have the Basecamp launch icon and click on Basecamp. So that opens Basecamp. We can dismiss the uh, tooltip at the beginning there. And you can see already we've got the very detailed map with all of these small streets. And if I zoom out, you can see how that fits together. And you note if you look on the left, my Zumo isn't connected. So this map is actually on the uh, computer. So that's the recommended way to download and install Basecamp from my point of view. The second way I'll explain to you now. Now this assumes that we haven't installed it already as if we're starting from scratch. So the first thing we need to do is go to Garmin.com and then in the search box, we search for Basecamp. And the first result of the recommended results there is a Basecamp. So we can click on there and that provides us with a link to download Basecamp. So we have links there for Mac and for PC. So I'm going to download for the PC. So we click download and run. Now we go through the uh, Basecamp setup wizard. So we click just minimize the browser there so we can see it more clearly. Click next, accept the license agreement, click next. And click finish and that will launch Garmin Basecamp. So Basecamp is now launched and we get an option to choose our activity profile if we haven't done already. Um, activity profiles affect the way it navigates uh, and plots routes when you're working in Basecamp. For example, motorcycling says it avoids interstates and major highways and unpaved roads. Um, if we choose driving, it won't avoid interstates. So I'm going to select motorcycling and click close and also close this uh, tooltip. And we get another prompt asking us if uh, we're happy for Garmin to collect anonymous data usage. So I'm going to click yes. Now, if I zoom in on the map with the uh, zoom tool in the UK, you'll note there's not very much detail on the uh, on the map at all. In fact, I think we have a couple of major motorways and, and that's it. So if you install Basecamp in this manner, 
um, you need to plug in your device in order to see the detailed map. Once you plug in your device, as I will do now, it uh, takes the map from your device and then you can plot from there. So as I say, I'd recommend the first method because if you use the first method and install via Garmin Express, then you can use it standalone of your, from your device and still have the detailed map. So you see my Zemo has appeared in the left there under devices and you can see the progress bar now as it uh, uploads the map. This is only temporary though, as soon as you unplug your Zemo, it will go back to the undetailed map. So as you see, the screen is refreshed and now we have a more detailed map. So from here, I can click on the zoom tool and zoom in to show you that we've got the correct level of detail. Now we're using the map from the device. But as I say, once you disconnect the device, it goes back to the simple map. So I'd really recommend using the first method, which is to install uh, the map and base camp via Garmin Express. So that's how to download and install Basecamp and also how to download the maps to your computer. Thanks for watching and remember to like, share and subscribe.